Hello everybody, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got my grocery haul for you today. As you can see here, I went to Aldi. I spent $38.13 and some of this will actually carry over to next week. And I do have a budget of approximately $40 for the week. So I did really good. Um, I will show you that. And then if you want to take a screenshot for pricing, I know some folks like to know how much things are. Um, but I'll tell you as I pull it out. And this week for lunch, I'm having, or uh, for my lunches and meals, a pork roast. So I have that thawing on the stove right now so I can cook it. Tomorrow is a work holiday for me. So I probably will cook it later today and let it go and then have it for the week and freeze some. All right. First things up, pork rinds. They're my life. These are 79 cents a bag. So I got two. Um, I got some Greek olive oil because I was running low and it's $3.99, which I thought was pretty reasonable. Uh, the pizza sauce, which is organic. And for keto, there are six. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Ooh, come on. There we go. Six carbs for a quarter of a cup. I don't use anywhere near a quarter of a cup. And the carbohydrates come from the tomato. This is all natural. That was $1.39. I'm pretty sure. Oh, $1.99 for the pizza sauce. The broccoli florets. I grabbed two of these steam pouches just for quick dinners. Were $1.19 each. Um, I got some of this queso fresco. I've never had it before, but I was watching, I think it's Catherine Michelle. She has a keto channel. Um, she said you can fry this just like you would, like, I think it's homani or bread cheese. It's a firm cheese that you can fry. So I'm going to try that. I'll bring you along. But there are zero carbohydrates in this. Um, and how much fat? Six grams of fat, five protein. So the macros aren't bad. And for a snack, I'm a snacker. I can't help it. I just have to go with it. So I grabbed that to try. And the queso fresco was $2.49, which is much more reasonably priced than that other cheese. Um, I got some of this this week, which is the dry salami. It's thin rings for a snack. So have you seen the mozzarella wrapped in salami? And they're kind of pricey. So I thought, you know what? That's a lot of salami. I might even freeze half of it. And then I got these um, blocks of mozzarella. And I'm going to cut them into strips one way. Maybe if I go this way and then take two pieces of salami and wrap them. And then I have my own snack. And these were $1.69. So I'm going to get a ton of... This was six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For ten dollars, I'm gonna get a fair amount of these. And these are like meals on the go for me. So I grabbed that. I wish I could find all the whole mozzarella. This is part skim, but whatever. The salami has some fat. Um, my veg this week. I'm gonna saute up some zucchini. I did buy an avocado, which was 49 cents. The zucchini was $1.39 for that. And that'll feed me several meals. And then I have my broccoli. Um, I got a pound of bacon, which was $3.49, which I feel like is pretty much their normal, normal price for this bacon. Uh, two creams, they were $1.55 a piece. I have some in the fridge, but the date, goodbye date is March. So I'm like, well, they're always out, so I'm stocking up. Uh, my stevia erythritol packets, and this is $2.99. And then I bought a spaghetti squash, which I can also cook this week. Probably won't cook it during the week because it just takes like 45 minutes. Um, and that was $1.98 and some butter. So as you can see, some of this stuff will carry over into the next week. And um, when I see a good deal on something, I may buy it if I think it'll last. And that way, you know, budget. Gotta keep budget in mind. So that's where we're at right now. We're going to put everything away. And by we, I mean me. And I'm going to put this roast in the crock pot, I think. All right. I will come back when I start cooking. Hey, friends. I am working on dinner. I have, today is actually Tuesday, so I'm a little behind. Um, 
But this is for my zucchini. What I have in here is some bacon rendering, some butter, onion, salt and pepper. I'm throwing in some garlic. Because you know how I feel about garlic. And I'm going to saute up some zucchini here in a second. For my lunches, I cooked yesterday a pork tenderloin. I have eggs back here that I boiled. And then I'm trying something new. I hate frying sausage. So I baked it in a pan. I'm going to cut it into four servings. Or actually five servings. And then I'll have one left over. Um, for breakfast this week. So I'm having hard boiled eggs. I cut up a whole ton of zucchini. Um, because I'll eat this during the week too with my dinner. Kind of been craving green veg. So that's kind of my plan this week. I'm just going to saute up this. I have my pulled pork. I made that huge tenderloin. I kept half out for lunches this week. Half is in the freezer. So coming up in a few weeks when I want pork again, I'll just grab it out of the freezer. Maybe I'll season it, oops, season it up a little differently. Put on, you know, different seasoning on it or cook it with some different vegetable or make like a wrap do like an asian inspired wrap would be good but it is 6 43 it's a little late tonight i decided i better get my lunches going and get packed and get ready for bed all right so i'm gonna pack i'm gonna pack up my lunch i'll bring you back and show you what everything looks like once it's complete all right ready for lunch tomorrow this is still a little warm but this is pulled pork and zucchini that i will put the cover on and then i have a sausage and two eggs for breakfast that i will get the cover on and get into my lunch pail and then a fork and then in the morning oh, this is kind of hard one-handed there we go and then in the morning, I'll throw an ice cooler dealy whoppy in it and a napkin and call that my meals for the day. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, just comment below, like, subscribe, share like you do, and I will talk to you later. Bye.